why our tours are not beautiful and realistic is because of these four things so don't miss any of the tip what in the end is very important one of the reasons why your artworks is just realistic and not hyper realistic is because of the technique you are using to shade. I don't say that hatching and processing are bad, they are all good, but there is this technique called these pro artists use that make their work super awesome and they bring out all those pores and wrinkles in the drawing. Okay, here is a drawing that I made with just hatching and processing. The drawing looks realistic but it is not hyper realistic i made it with just hatching and cross hatching when i was still starting it doesn't mean you can't make it dark but i know for beginner artists you are finding it difficult to go dark in your drawings that is what you have to learn i was inspired to make hyper realistic drawings after i saw people's posts on instagram facebook on social medias i saw that these artists are really doing very well in their tours then I was like, I want to make something like this. I want to make artworks like this. They are more realistic. And I went into research and found out the technique these guys are using is for pen drawing. Now I'm talking about pen drawing, not pencil. I found out that these guys are using hatching and cross hatching as layering, and then they use scribbling as detailing. That's how I made this drawing. Using scribbling for the detail. I have talked about scribbling, scribbling, scribbling many times in my video and if you check where this is a thing that gives them those skin pores and skin wrinkles in the joint. So what scribbling? Scribbling is using your pen to create a rotating circles on the paper that is creating a line that is rotating at each point or you can make it different direction, horizontal, vertical, you can make it slant. Anyhow, depending on the detailing you have in the picture. That you are making that's why you need to practice more on scribbling know the direction you have to use now check the direction that i make on this cheek the direction of detail i make on this cheek that's using scribbling it's not the direction i made on the forehead it is different direction this side i use horizontal and uh, the forehead i use a slant scribbling just to get that detailing that i want so you have to improve yourself in this technique especially in scribbling this technique works perfectly fine trust me i've been on this research for about three months now and i understand that hatching cross hatching as layers work perfectly well when after you add a scribbling on it it will the drawing will look amazing and hyper realistic that's what these artists are using they just perfect their skill on scribbling and they make marvelous artworks and they will be like wow this is beautiful how do you make it and when you ask them they tell you just keep practicing that's not true they want you to find it at yourself but i'm a hyper realistic artist i can teach you all of that the second tip that makes your work just realistic and not hyper realistic is the tools you use for drawing tools are very very important the pen you are using the paper you are using all this stuff the tools you have to use for drawing is very important so when drawing with big i recommend you use big pen you can use any other pen as your tools you can use any other pen but me i prefer you use big pen big pen will bring out the contrast the beauty and the result you wish to get in your pen drawing before we can proceed more further click that subscribe button and like this video so back to the tools for drawing, I said big pen, this is the first two. You need those pen to get the color you want and you can use it for detailing. You can use it to get those pores and wrinkles because it has a bigger mouth. It has a bigger mouth to capture a very large part of a drawing. And there is another thing about pens you need to understand. You need to have another darker pen. You check very well in this my latest drawing, the dark side, the hair, the color of the hair and the color behind the eye are not the same i use that darker pen to make that side more darker than the other now look let's test the two colors you will see the thickness of the of the darker one is more darker than the big pen itself so these artists that are just posting that is just pen some use just pen but to get that realistic drawing that you want you need that to pay two pens you need to go to the market find some stuff some pen that 
has the same color but let it be a darker one the name of my own is madella i use it for darker part of the drawing next tools that at issue is highlight pen if you have not heard about it yes there is something like white pen some people call it white gel pen it is used for highlighting maybe a dark a lighter part of the drawing a place that you, that you want to pop up in the drawing that's where you use this highlight pen you use it to mark to make the work more beautiful maybe a glossy leaves or all those stuff you use the highlight pen to bring it up many artists don't want you to know about this but there is a highlight pen get yourself one at amazon or any market the next is the paper you use for drawing i have used many paper for drawing i have come to understand that pro artists use rough paper for all their walls and i also use them the walls i create with them are more realistic than the ones i create with smooth paper so i'm advising you to get yourself a rough paper and create marvelous artworks this one i made it with rough paper and you can see the skin texture and it is rough that's why i brought it closer so get yourself a rough paper and start creating marvelous artworks some of the examples of rough paper are needle point paper needle point is the one that i'm using now we have, we have straight more paper we have bridge tool and other artworks other papers you can browse about it you can also ask about your art seller your art seller about all those types of paper now look closely and see how how the rough paper breaks the lines i create now look at the smooth paper they are exactly the same lines that i create only that i'm bringing them together the rough paper breaks the lines it breaks the line making the drawing hyper realistic making it to have those skin texture and skin texture looks in the drawing but this smooth paper makes the work just the way you shade it that's the way it is you will see all those lines hatching and cross hatching that's why you end up making the drawing super light making it very light so that you can you will not make mistake in the drawing this is another drawing that i made with rough paper it took lots of time i lots of energy in it but this is rough paper and that is why i can get the skin texture not only the skin texture if you look at the background the water part the blow part it is all because of the rough paper if it was a light it, if it was a smooth paper all those lines should have been showing it will not be this realistic it will not be this photo realistic it will not be this beautiful that's the difference between that rough paper and the smooth paper all pro artists are using that rough paper for drawing they don't want you to be seeing those lines and you'll be like this is wonderful this is amazing they use rough paper for the artwork get yourself rough paper and you enjoy the output of your drawing the third secret that they use to make their work hyper realistic is the picture they are drawing you cannot just start making a random picture because start drawing a random picture a blur picture trying to get the hyper realistic texture and look you want no it doesn't work that way you get many reference photo many of them and you edit them and get the art com you want you can use in short for editing select the picture you want and start editing increase brightness or exposure make the thing beautiful before you can start before you start shading before you start making the redoing but make sure that the picture is high quality and the picture is beautiful first before you proceed now this is a picture of my client that said i should draw the picture is really bad i cannot make this kind of drawing because it will look it will look very very bad and i cannot post it so i have to edit it i have to make it look more beautiful so that when i'm done uh, with the editing i will start with the drawing that's what many artists use you have to be an editor you, you must know you must learn you must know how to edit pictures so there are many editing apps you can use if you are using an android or iphone to edit you can use photo express you can use InShot. you can use ibis paint you can use photo lab to edit the picture but if you are using laptop for editing use photoshop photoshop for the editing that's the one i recommend other other software i don't i don't recommend others but if you are using for phone i use InShot. i use photo lab i use photo express 
I use IBS paint to make the drawing look hyper realistic to make the picture look beautiful first so that before I can proceed to the drawing even if you will just want to make a drawing you don't have a picture a good picture you want to draw you can browse about reference pictures on Google we see many pictures that are good for drawing then you start with your drawing you can also take piece of your reference photo you can use yourself as a reference photo you can use any member of your family as a reference photo just get the work uh, beautiful let the picture be beautiful first before you proceed to the drawing the picture is the hint it's like the guide to the drawing so you have to be very careful with it now after my editing i came up with this picture i edited it finished and it's this picture then i converted it to black and white the reason is because through black and white pictures you can understand the darker part and the lighter part of the drawing you understand the place that are too dark the place that is too light the place that is very white like the whiter part of the drawing and the darker part of the drawing you understand the levels of darkness and the thickness you have to apply so that you can make your work hyper realistic and beautiful about the fourth secret is the process there's a saying that it's easy to watch a beautiful drawing in a video but making it is really really difficult that's the process that's where people run away from it it doesn't take one day to make hyper realistic artwork it doesn't take like one hour two hours no 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 if a realistic artwork takes you five hours to complete hyper realistic artwork will take you about 15 to 20 hours to complete it is that it is that like it's you it's worth that time those skin textures those wrinkles those pores those things those artists added to that drawing they added it one after the other so Matthew's draws for three months some two months but that's not to discourage you or anything else i draw for two weeks sometimes i draw for one week but if you really want to get those hyper realistic texture you have to follow the process to finish it another thing you have to consider is the size of the artwork you don't expect to draw to get the details and the skin textures of a lady in a very small artwork in a very small size of an artwork you will mess the whole thing up you cannot get those skin textures that you wish to get so you have to make the work bigger you have to make the work bigger you can go for any size of an artwork the one showing up on the screen now you can go for any size they are good you can make hyper realistic beautiful artworks with them don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more tutorials